Hey, what's up? I'm going to show you how to fix your washer if, in this case, it keeps putting water in the drum and it's just up to a point where it's going to flood. As you can see on this one, I'll press start and the water just keeps going in. As you can see, the level's there. It's not supposed to be that high. It's supposed to be maybe up to maybe that level and it's going to just keep filling up. Now, your model might look different to this one, but the principle applies across many different LG washers uh, or Samsung. Whichever washer you have, this principle applies across many different washers. So when this problem usually happens, it's because of three things. So it could be the water level sensor or the pipe going to the water level sensor itself. So the water level sensor looks a bit like that. But before you get to replacing that, you need to check there's a pipe that goes in here that attaches to your drum. And that lets the washer know that this thing has had enough water. And you can see from that, that's a lot of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up because if there's a hole in that pipe, it will put too much water because it'll be sensing that there's too much water in it. So what we're going to do is going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, open it up, have a look, make sure there's no holes in the pipe. Or if, if it's in your case, maybe sometimes the valve might just keep pouring water in. But either way, sometimes it will give you an error and tell you that there's too much water in the drum. So let's open it up. Make sure you unplug it for safety and have your Phillips head screwdriver handy and we'll open it up. To open it up, there's two screws at the back of this washer. So at the back of this top cover, there's two screws. We're gonna remove that and just simply slide this back and out and it'll come off. When you take off the top cover, this is what you'll find inside. This is your water level sensor and this is the hose that I was talking about. Now usually what you can do to make sure that this is no hole in it is you blow air into this and hold um, with your tongue or something and make sure that the pressure in there is not dropping. So I'm going to blow some water in it. If you feel that the water, the, the, the pressure is, you know, dropping as you blow into it, it means like some of that is going out through an opening. Obviously it opens into the drum, but the best way to check visually is to remove it. But in this case, we don't want to remove it. We just want to blow into it and make sure that there's no leak um, before we start to dismantle things. So just to recap that, you blow into it and you sort of hold this opening closed with your tongue and you should just feel that constant pressure should be the same. It shouldn't drop. If there's a leak, that pressure will drop and then you know that there's something wrong with this pipe. In my case, there's nothing wrong with this pipe. I should also mention that sometimes when you move these washers, if you're connecting it for the first time, the pipes at the back here, there'll be a, like hydrogen buildup in the, in the pipes um, and that will mess up with this system. So usually what you can do then is pause it, drain the water and then start again and then it should be fine. But if it's not the hydrogen in the pipes, then it's most likely this pipe or if it's not this pipe, it'll be your level sensor. Now you can look this up. On eBay, you can find them. Just type in your model number and look for the one that's for your particular model. And to take it off, it's uh, a Phillips head screwdriver screw. Here, I should just take off. And there's connectors to it. And you just change this. I've got a, here's one I prepared earlier. And I should say most of these are interchangeable between most um, LG washing machines. They're just like five volts uh, power supply to them and, and then a signal and uh, ground. So just it's in. Uh, just make sure you plug everything back in. Once you're done with that, 
plug the washer back into power. And then we're going to restart the cycle. We're going to drain the water that's in it. And restart the cycle, see if that made a difference. Drain the water, you just turn it on. If yours has a spin only cycle, you can press spin. But for me, I just press spin and start. And that's going to drain the water out. All right, so we're going to start it again. Um, put in a quick 30 minute wash and start and see if the water will keep rising again. Perfect. Winner, winner. So the water has stopped going in the drum. It's got the right level of water going in it. So sometimes all it takes is changing that um, valve, that water level sensor. But always check all the other things first before you go ahead and change this. Less expensive. This won't cost you much, maybe about 50 bucks. And that will save you a whole heap of trouble. So if you ever find your washer filling up with too much water, Make sure you try this. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.